Alright guys, you were looking at a massive lock. I didn't realize how big this was when I ordered it. It's made by a company, see if I can roll this over. Made by a company called Bully Locks, and there's their website up there, I guess. Uh, they call this the Black Mamba. And again, five feet, six inches long. I didn't realize how huge, let me roll it over again, and massive this thing was when I placed the order. It was about $68. I'll put the link down there in the description if you're interested in it. Um, just by comparison, this is a crypto uh, kryptonite lock, a keeper. We've seen these, and this thing is tiny. This is a baby compared to this massive thing. Uh, I did put it on the scale, a little over 12 pounds, 5.5 kilograms. Uh, I did also slice this open. As you can see, I wanted to get a look at the chain. It's a half inch thick hardened chain. But with die grinders today, it doesn't matter if it's hardened or not, but still a massive chain, even with bolt cutters. You're not going to be getting through this. It's going to actually take a die grind or something similar to that. When I placed the order, I actually thought that this was a disc detainer lock because they didn't show a picture of the key. Most of these are disc detainers now, but I was kind of surprised when I caught a glance of the key. Uh, this is, uh, it looked on first glance like a dimple lock. And I just glanced, I didn't take a, a closer look. Um, but when I looked at the lock itself, I mean, again, just a massive thing. Uh, it looks like this is a shutter, a spring-loaded shutter, and I actually took a tool and tried to move that out of the way so I could get a look at the keyway, so I could figure out a good tensioner to use, and I left a couple marks there, and then I took the time to read the instructions, <laughs> so I guess that's always helpful. So when you turn this, it's actually a threaded thing that moves it out of your way, and personally, I think that's probably a bad thing because um, this, a spring-loaded door on here is usually an impediment to picking. You've got to pry that spring-loaded door out of your way and it usually keeps flipping in your way while you're trying to work your way between them to pick, but they make this really convenient. Just kind of roll it up out of your way a little bit. Looking inside of here, this is the first time I realized something was not quite what I expected. Not only is it a, a smiley lock, it's not a standard dimple. I looked th At that point I looked at the key but it's a pretty wide open keyway as well. And again, trying to find a tensioner so I didn't waste your time, I tried several different tensioners because these are usually a real pain in the tuchus to tension because when you slide a tensioner in there, it usually binds up against the side of the lock and it completely seizes up the core, making it not impossible, but much more difficult to pick. But when I tried the first tensioner, and again, I don't know if you can see that or not, but when I just apply tension, it's very strong spring tension, but the entire core moves, the entire outer sleeve, as well as the inner sleeve, they're connected. So you can use any tensioner in here, it doesn't really matter. And you won't bind up the, the, uh, the core when you're trying to pick it, when you're trying to apply the tension. So, you know, from that perspective, it, they've made things very easy for us. A roll-away shutter door, a complete core that rolls, easy to tension. So let's go ahead and try it now. I have not picked it, but let's try, I'll tell you what, let's first try the easy path. Let's try this guy. This is a Goso. It's kind of a rake pick. I thinned it out. It may not work because these are usually hard to keep centered uh, on the pins. It tends to roll off one side or the other, but I'll try it first before we try to single pin pick it. So I'm going to apply tension. As I said, it's very strong spring tension. So you want to overcome that and then just back up just a little bit. Try to keep the pick center on those pins and let's see if we can at least rake up a fault set, make our lives a little bit easier. Um, and yeah, we got a fault set all right. In fact, we have an open, so mm, yeah, they made it a little bit too easy. I, I would have expected more for sixty-eight dollars. I mean, I got to give them credit. It's it's a massive lock, super heavy duty, so heavy in fact, it's probably not something you want to carry on your shoulder while you're riding your bike around. Uh, it would make an excellent weapon to swing over your head, being five feet something inches long. But in terms of security, this lock, this is one of those locks that has, you know, an armor coating but a vanilla core, super. Super easy to pick, as you saw. I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. 68 bucks, I would have expected more security than what we got. Anyway, guys, there you go. The Bully Locks Black Mamba. Massive lock, but pretty easy to get into. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.